time for an adventure, isn't it? All right, got to do some prep work for the next CIA trip. <laughs> so, I've got an old barn. I'm keeping, keeping the C19 at the back, so I better go and get it out and kick it into life. I've got to change the chain, prep it, get a few things ready, check everything works, brakes haven't seized up and things like that. <laughs> I leave on Friday. What is it? Saturday now, so I get to work. <laughs> Right then, moment of truth. Seems all right. Brakes aren't seized. It's all looking good. Battery's good. Let's see if she kicks. So then, what have we been doing today? Well, we've fitted the panniers these are the ones I've used before um, much happier than the other ones more room they fit better um, they look better a lot more clearance from the exhaust as well as you can see um, so yeah that's good um, and finished work so time to fit new fuel tank cheers so Matt assures me it's important that we take this seriously because there's, there's, a, lot, there's a lot of navigating going there's a lot of harsh riding for the C90s, so it's important we prepare and make sure she's strong. So just to make sure, extra Gorilla Tape. Done. So there we go, that's my preliminary setup. Jerry can. Bag of stuff on the back. Done. Tet ready. Oh, one more thing. Cable tyres. A bit more work on the cub today for um, preparation for the tet. Um, the cub's pretty much ready, uh, new tyres are fitted, the exhaust needs a bit of fine tuning on it. Uh, today the main focus is this, the seat. Um, and you see I've sort of uh, sabotaged another seat from a breakers um, and modified it so it fits nicely. Unfortunately the foam's a little bit hard so this is what I'm doing. I've got some better foam. Um, gonna leave the existing foam on it and then uh, glue this on. Looks quite thick, but um, it literally compresses down to, to nothing. So I'm just hoping that will give you that nice bit of uh, comfy bum layer, along with the, uh, the Ikea sheepskin rug over the top. Um, hopefully that will keep, uh, keep the sores away for the week. Well. I haven't touched the bike today, been at work all day, now I'm on shopping duty. So I've got to pop into Morrison's, buy a lot of food, including food for the trip. So this is sort of a prep, trip preparation. So then guys, um, ignore the state of the shed, as you can see, as per usual, it's a bit of a bomb site. Um, so what we're we doing tonight, um, trying to pack the last few bits and work out the best packing method. I'm looking at using the Oxford 30 roll bag, great bag, you know, just tough as old boots, um, doesn't leak, has, has done me well over the years. And then I've got a couple of uh, Wolfman panniers on each side, they're about 12 litres a side. Um, yeah, packing essentials, beer and tuna, <laughs> what more do you need? Getting the mighty cab ready for the tit, Trans-European Trail. Gonna take the engine out, which is the 140. Clutch operated. Kick start. I'm gonna go for the 140. Semi-automatic. No clutch. And electric start. Make life a bit easier. It's always good to have a new engine. So uh, let's crack on and put this in.
So the vote is in. Two weeks before the tap. No. No. Yes. 140, semi-automatic, electric start, bog standard, dodgy little clutch on it, not the strongest. Nah. 140, kick start, pretty much fully worked. Uh, just too lethal, so no. And the little Liffin, the pretty little Liffin, that has done some major miles on it. Uh, my first pit bike I actually rebuilt engine, first bike I ran in the Cub, and that's done the Elephant Rally uh, over in Germany, and that was in the middle of winter, and then up through Austria, and then Czech Republic, and into Poland, and then all the way back, and that was about minus 14. And it's done the Garbage Run, suddenly jog, and then I thrashed all the way back from John O'Groats back to London in two days. Absolutely flogged up the motorways. And it survived. And the Liffin is a pretty rock solid uh, engine. Um, and since then I've, I've rebuilt it and I put an alloy cylinder kit on it. Uh, done the valves on it and um, done some flowing on the head and then I run this awesome nibby, nibby carbs on them, 26 mil. And I run them all my bikes. They just run so well. And the 125s, 140s, they just, they just, yeah, they just work. Um, so I've got this one running. Um, runs a 140 standard cam in it. Uh, it runs like a 140, but doesn't have the, the the torque on it to wreck the clutch. So that's that seems to be the one to go for. Um, and it idles as well. So I'm pretty happy with that. And it fits in there nicely. And uh, it's got a lot of memories of this engine, so uh, it's nice to pull it out. I have got another one, and that's the one I rode to Morocco and back, and I've done a lot of miles on that, and done the jog on that one as well. But that's a small valve, and that's you're really thrashing it to get 55. You, you, to do 50, and then it's like the hills, so I'm um, not too keen to take that one out, but that one's pretty reliable, but I had to back up to. But this is the one to take, so pretty happy about that. So no to the 140 semi, no to the 140 worked, but to the 125 semi nomad Glyphon. That one takes the vote. Happy days. I'm gonna try and go minimalist on this um, this route because we're. I don't. I don't know if at what point in this video if Matt will have explained where we're going. So we're going to cross the Trans European Trail, across the south of the UK, over to the Armchair Adventure Festival. Uh, so I want to go really lightweight. I want to make sure I'm not uh, affecting the performance <laughs> of the C90. Saturday morning. Wait before we depart, early morning, um, I'm gonna take a ride out to uh, Hitchin on the Mighty Cup. Uh, see how it runs, so I've got the engine in there, that's all good, got the lift in, got the clutch plates in that are working, and it seems to be running right, so I'm gonna give it a good old, <laughs> a good old thrash. And uh, hopefully Jay's uh, bike will be all good, so I'm gonna obviously check his bike out, and uh, yeah, 50 miles, Hitchin. Early morning run, like I said, a week before we go, pretty excited. I think he's pretty excited, pretty quiet though. So yeah, let's, uh, let's, get, let's get riding. Mr. Bourne, what are we doing today? Uh, a bit more tech repairs, or tech prep, sorry I should say. Fit in the new factory seat. Oh, that looks flash. Out of Bourne's factory. That's and nice. too much. <laughs> That's a nice bit of work, man. What's all that on there? Uh, don't know yet. We'll find out in a minute. <laughs> Give us a minute. Give us a chance to get it on. What are you doing, Mr. Bourne? Uh, just uh, applying some, uh, some well, using up the excess grease. You apply it to the outside of the brakes? Uh, yeah, we well, don't want to put it inside, do you? <laughs> <laughs> nice job there by Mr. Mr. Bourne, look at that, like a pro. Prep work going extremely well. What are you up to now Mr. Bourne? Fit an umbrella rack. Every C90 needs an umbrella rack. However, this one's slightly too large, so I'm gonna mark it and recut it. Most important part of tech prep, boys and girls, is the official tech sticker. Cheers, lads. Just got to find somewhere to put it. All right, just packing to go to Jay's. Checking the back bag the final time, trying to strip any more shit out of it. 
fit a new speedo on the C90 because uh, that broke on the way to work yesterday. Otherwise, heading to Jay's. Update you later. Fine. Off we go. Um, I've got a helmet, a spare helmet, that I'm um, going to give to the vegan. And uh, I thought I'd decorate it. <laughs> because everyone loves a vegan. <laughs> I'm sure he's going to love this. Absolutely love it. Well, I've had fun making it in arts and crafts, so I think that's pretty cool. I think it'll suit the vegan quite well. It's got some last with adjustments going on here, so that's not good. That's not good at all. That ain't going to be waterproof. So I've got some mighty tough. So I'll put some, st some stuff on that. And Fix the hole in there because you can't have holes in there, can you? Last bit of prep work. So I can see. Yeah, get in there. Yeah. Hey! How's my boys? Very good. Traffic. That's my voice. Traffic was a bit gnarly. <laughs> Watch your back, you want to come this way. Otherwise, hey, Dan, bro, you alright, man? Yeah, it's good. Got Get you, in there, got Danny. Your gang together now, have yeah. you? Ah, <laughs> oh, fantastic ride, man. Okay. <laughs> yeah, bro. Traffic was really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my man. How are you? Good, mate. Good, good. <laughs> you stink of beer, man. You've had a beer already, haven't you? I had a few beers, yeah. yeah. What's price? What's price? Stay to you, Mr. Microphone. What are you talking about? Did you know my bike has automatic stop-start technology? You stop, and it just stops. I don't the know trick is starting it. <laughs> the key, it starts fine, but it's new stop-start technology by Mr. Honda, I think. So nobody knows about it yet, so shh, don't tell him. Look at these bikes. Full prep. Full prep. Full prep, but slow as hell, man. Oh. <laughs> Uh, like he overtook me on a hill going up. Absolutely just a bit of me. What? Yep. No Completely problem. Completely not lead, just sailed past me. It might be because there's probably about 40 kilo difference. So. No, maybe not 40. I don't know what's um, what's changed, but I think the engine's tired. I think she's had enough of being I thrashed think, around the country I by she's just ginger nut <laughs> with, um, yeah. So, I need some air in the back tire desperately because it's way too low. Who told me what pressure to put in, Matthew? What, what pressure did you say, 32? 40 in the back, 30 in the front. 40, 40, man. That's not what you put in it earlier. Remind us weekend. You put 32 in it. I said, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Nah, no, 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 no. What have you got in your bag? Um, which bag, that bag or that bag? Because that bag fires blanks. That bag's got a tin <laughs> of chicken balls in it. <laughs> what the hell's chicken balls, man? Ch chicken meatballs. I bought them by mistake. There were supposed to be mint meatballs, but I picked up chicken See, meatballs. You bought a kit, can of chicken balls. Chicken meatballs, brother. They'll be fantastic. Jay, Jay says, put one of these dead sheep on here. And I was like, okay, can I okay. get some string or something? He goes, nah, just what sit on it? it. It's riding along, fucking sliding oh, around, cool. here, down there. Go, did it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> can, can you put some string no, in the house? Do it tight, innit? You fell asleep while you were having your tattoo done. We'll definitely do that, man. We'll definitely do that. Oh, you yeah, need to tie it down, don't you? It's more comfortable because this has just gone so soft. God, that's well, what is it's the like the foam has gone rotten or something. So it's right, just like sitting the on the plastic now. <laughs> so Jay rescued me with a bit ah, of dead sheep. Right. Yeah, it looks nice. I like the script. It looks good. <laughs> right, it's, it's, it's hot glue guns. Dribble, dribble a grid of hot glue gun on there. Stops the bag rattling for all the awesome gnarly off-road we're going to do. <laughs> You have to do it You've seen it here first. We have got the first non anti slip. Non anti slip? No, it's anti slip. <laughs> it's anti -slip. Sorry, anti slip. We've got the, no, Well, we we'll, we'll, we, we're going to judge it's that. Non anti slip. Anyway. We're going to go in the first corner. Well, it it's might gonna be slide non anti slip. Yeah. It'll be a non anti slip. Excellent. Excellent. Chris has a live animal for suspension. Eeyore. 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 You think it's a donkey? Ha, 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 ha.
It does sound like a crisp. Have you got a donkey for suspension? <laughs> VIP parking in the uh, Heliwell Manor. The what? <laughs> How do you feel about these bikes in the uh, in the lounge? Pretending it's not happening. Pretending it's not happening. I'm in a happy place. That smells divine. I'm making another bottle of Prosecco. It'll be fine. <laughs> turn, turn around, turn around. <laughs> Vegan inside. Has <laughs> it got a sticker on the back? Has <laughs> it got stickers or what? Sweetie, what side of the bed are you going? Uh, the bottom. What's going on? Uh, we just noticed Jay's uh, suspension at the bottom here uh, is loose. Uh, also, this is loose, so we'll see if that might, that might add to it. <laughs> yeah, what's there? There's a little, little knock in you probably can't see on camera there. Just checking that out, just checking it. Make sure it's all right. A bit of pre-trip maintenance. So it's just essential maintenance. Just before we're about to take off, just test that. Oh, yeah, get the right, get the right one on there, mate. Yeah, it's 14, isn't it, on the back? That's definitely tight. That's undoing. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm undoing it and check that. So put a bush in. It. <laughs> see how bad the bush is. It's just part of owning a cub. Yes, yeah, sir. Just a bit. Just a bit of uh just a bit of play. Extra suspension, that's what that is. <laughs> Cheap Chinese. Good Chinese. <laughs> it's, the, it's the red flash go fast Chinese stuff. Hey bro. <laughs> yeah man. So how long is it taking you to do the suspension job? Five minutes. And what are you doing? Replacing the bushes on the bottoms. Five minutes? Yeah, about that. Be on the way soon. Try doing that with your beamer. Yeah. Should be impossible. Are you using a press to press them in and out? I am indeed, yeah. It's a 14 mil press. It works a tree. Oh, we're in the White Cliffs of Dover. Um, what's at the White Cliffs of Dover and why are we here? What's at the White Cliffs of Dover and why are we here then? We're doing the tit. The tit. The tit. The tet. What are we doing, vegan? Here we are at the start of the tet. Eastern Dock Roundabout that way. Start of the tet UK. And, and we're, what's our destination for tonight? As far as we get. The tet. Portsmouth. Yeah, we can try Portsmouth, yeah. Portsmouth's good if you're in Portsmouth. Portsmouth, I'll head for Portsmouth. Do they serve beer in Portsmouth? Yeah, mate. We're going there! Go, mate. It's definitely shit, not much. It smells terrible. I wouldn't worry about this affair. Mine handles like a pig through a swim pool full of custard. So, he's a custard. Yeah. Come on, brother. You can do it. Do it at speed. got to be a contortionist to get in and out of this tent and I'm not a contortionist. <laughs> yeah. 